What's going on everybody? It's Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com. Today we are going to be checking out um, an event that's going on at the Las Vegas uh, Convention Center. I believe it's called the Printing Expo. Um, I seen it because I was notified from uh, Melco, the company that makes the embroidery machine that I use. So I figured, you know, I'm in the same town that they in. Might as well come see, check it out, see what they're showing. I believe they're running some demos on the... Uh, the Bravo X and the EMT 16X and whatnot. Maybe some uh, newer equipment along with a bunch of other companies here as well. So let's jump inside and check it out. All right, y'all, we just got in the building. Looking for who we came for real quick before it's time for us to head out. Had to go ahead and register. They put your boy's stuff on, on the little hang tag and whatnot. I don't think I want to wear it though, but we'll see if they make me put it on later. Let's go check out and see which embroidery machines are in the house. have made it to the Melco booth. Let's see what they're stitching out over here. Real cool. They're stitching out something that's a jackpot. One of the machines I ran into is the one that I have at home. This is the Melco Bravo X right here. They're doing a demo on it right the now. The result of what they started stitching out right there. Again, running it off the Bravo software. Cool results. With the Mighty Hoop. We're here at Printing United 2022 in Las Vegas, showing our customers all about Melco modularity, how to be more productive and more efficient. Come here, I want to have Lena tell you a little bit more. With traditional multi-head embroidery machines, all of them have to run at the same time simultaneously. But with our modular machines, they can either run simultaneously or all independently. For example, on these four machines, we're running hats on three of them and a jacket on the fourth. Or you can configure it however you'd like. Melco modular system give you that extra edge for profitability. And we have even more embroidery machines here don't know exactly which ones these are but it's pretty cool let's take a look at the screen here I'm making some hats right now multi -head. here's one of the same machines we're running off of a single head setup looks like they went ahead and made a hat here as well it doesn't have any name on it though I mean I guess that's kind of cool you can brand it yourself, right? We hopped on over to the Super Color booth, gave me a free shirt, and get to pick whatever design I want, and they're gonna uh, watch them press it on the shirt for us right now. We got them on the, on the press. Yeah. I'm glad. Getting a demo with the heat transfers from Super Color. Came to the booth, he's putting the shirt on there for us. I got to choose my design. That's what I selected right here. And you're getting ready to press it. Alright, so what you want to do is make sure you're lining it up. Right about here, spot right there. Yep. And then what you do, pull it down 15 seconds. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There, man. There we go. We found the stalls booth. They do heat presses and hat presses and stuff like that. I believe this is the type of work you can get done with their machines. I was thinking about getting something like that over there. Possibly. We'll work our way back around to it in just a minute. Look at him doing a painting. That's pretty cool. He's over here painting this, so I'm guessing he did this as well. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. I want something like this right here to make a hat. Set the temperature. I guess it has a bottom heat, top heat. That's the cool thing about these ones right here. I'm gonna grab me a brochure, some information packs right here. And let's see if we can get a hat pressed up when somebody comes around. Got to select the heat transfer from here. It's pressing the hat for us. You can see it's a hot field, it actually lifted it off. Uh, I took it off right off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Real cool. Quick and easy. Uh-huh. 
Thank you. Look at that. We made our way over to the Caesar booth, Caesar, Caesar. I've used some of their products before, like the vinyl to make uh, t-shirts back before I started doing the embroidery. So we're gonna come check them out as well, see what they got to offer here at the expo. Alright, so it looks like they have printers as well that prints on their own vinyl to go ahead and make some cool apparel. I ain't never seen a heat press that small. Look at that little mini machine. <laughs> That's real cool. Just watching this stitch out. Stitching out a hat on the Sprint 8 by ZSK. Pretty cool. All day long. Choo -choo. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, here's their uh, multi head machine. They're stitching out something cool on this as well. We got the hooping station right here. That's going to be it for day one for me at the expo. Ran into a couple of people trying to network a little bit. I hit the Brother booth, uh, Melco booth, um, Scissor booth, a um, handful of other ones. Got a couple stuff. Super colors you guys seen right in there. Ran into uh, uh, Rye Beats from YouTube. I've seen his video. Seen that he said he was on his way out here to Vegas, which is what made me want to come out here to begin with. Got my pass from uh seeing melco on instagram and i also ran into a few other people though but we're gonna come back here and see what else they have to offer but we have another event to go to right now so let's get to it hope you guys enjoy it peace <laughs>